This video is five exercises to help you work on your violin or viola bow hold. Remember for your bow hold, you wanna start off with that bear paw, tiger paw, bent hand seat shape. Your thumb goes on the stick of the bow just outside the frog. So it's gonna go right here on this bald spot, just outside the U shape of the frog and just before this black grip. So right there is where my thumb will go on its tip, nice and bent. My middle finger and ring finger wrap around the front. My middle finger touches the silver part, ring finger right next to it. Pointer finger goes curved and on its side on this silver winding. There should be a space between my pointer finger and my middle finger right here. And then my pinky perches like a bird on a branch. It looks just like that. My thumb stays bent and my other fingers are curved over, pointer finger curved and separate. Pinky perched like a bird on a branch. Once you have that bow hold, you're gonna turn it straight up and down, and we're gonna practice our rocket ship exercise. You're going to have your good bow hold turn straight up and down vertical, and you're going to practice doing down bows and up bows. So you're gonna start by pretending to put a little tiny astronaut on the tip of your bow, and you're going to keep your astronaut balanced on the tip. Don't let your astronaut fall off. Keep your bow straight up and down. And we're going to launch our astronaut on a space mission. Here we go. Slow up bow, keeping that bow nice and straight up and down. Nice and slow and slow down bow. Nice and slow. Good, see all my bow stayed really straight? Try it again, slow up bow. Good, and slow down bow. Let's do one more together. Ready, here we go, super slow up bow, rocket ship up to the moon. Keeping your astronaut balanced and slow down bow. Don't let your astronaut wobble off. If you have a wibble wobble bow, your astronaut's gonna fall off. Don't let it happen. Slow down bow, nice and straight. All right, once you've got that one, you are ready for exercise number two. This is our soup pot exercise. You still wanna make sure you have a good bow hold, thumb bent, middle finger, ring finger, are best friends wrapped around. Uh, your pointer finger is curved and separate and your pinky is perched like a bird on a branch. Straight up and down, just like we did for rocket ship again. And you are going to stir your soup pot by moving your bow in a circular motion. While you do this, you want to pretend like you have a Cheerio or a Fruit Loop balanced on the tip of your bow, and you don't want to let that Fruit Loop fall into your soup, okay? So keep it on there. You're going to stir the soup pot, moving your bow in this circular motion, not letting that Fruit Loop fall off. So don't wibble wobble your bow sideways like that. Keep your Fruit Loop on the tip of your bow, nice and balanced, this kind of motion, okay? So that is our soup pot exercise. Practice that every day. And our next bow exercise is the spider crawl. This one's a tough one. Get ready to work out your fingers. For the spider crawl, you're again going to start with that good bow hold and you want it straight up and down and you are going to crawl your hand touching only the stick of the bow from the frog all the way up to the tip. Okay, so you also wanna make sure when you're doing this one that you are not cheating and just sliding your hand down the bow like this. That's a no-no. We are not doing that. That doesn't help you work on your fingers. So start with your butt hold and you're going to crawl your fingers from the frog to the tip on the stick of the bow, practicing working on getting those fingers to be independent and strong. And once you make it to the tip, here's the hard part. You're going to try to crawl your fingers back. You can do this the challenge way, which is what I'm doing right now. I am not using anything to hold my bow at the bottom. If you can, try it that way. If you need a little bit of help to balance your bow, just to make sure it doesn't wobble away on you, you can hold it with your knee or your hand like I'm doing at the bottom to help support just a little bit at first to get you started, okay? So that is your spider crawl. You can see I made it back to my bow hold, back at the frog by the end. I know that's a tough one, but it is great for your fingers and building up your finger strength and your finger independence. Our next exercise is the seesaw. For the seesaw, you are going to again, start with your good bow hold, but this time you're going to keep your bow horizontal. This one's a workout for your pinky and your thumb. What you're going to do is straighten your pinky to push down and you're also going to feel yourself pushing up just a little bit with your thumb and then bend your pinky. When I do this, you can see my tip kind of goes up for this one. There's up and bend it, bring it back down. Good, bend your pinky and bring it back down. Straighten your pinky, push down and you'll see your tip go up and then bend it. You wanna do this slowly. Don't try to do it super fast like this. You're just practicing working out that pinky nice and slow. Your pinky will probably sometimes fall off when you're doing that. If when you're doing this exercise or any of the exercises, your pinky slides off the branch, just practice putting that bird back on the branch. If he comes off, just put him back on, okay? Keep working on it, keep at it. So I put my bird back on the branch and I'm just practicing pushing down and bending. Push down, oop, my pinky fell off a little bit and then bend it. 
totally normal. Like I said, for your pinky, sometimes to slip off. Keep working on it and you'll get it. One more exercise for today. This one is swinging out. For swinging out, you are going to practice opening and closing your arm like this. So you're bending and straightening your arm. What I'm gonna to do to help me out with this is take my left hand and hold my upper arm just above my elbow to make sure it is not swinging backwards at all. I only want to open and close the lower part of my arm down here, my forearm. I'm not moving my upper arm, okay? So when you watch, I'm gonna straighten my arm and then bend it. Straighten and bend it. Straighten and bend it. You can see my elbow is not moving at all when I do this. Above my elbow, I'm not moving my arm. So I'm just straightening and bending my arm. Straighten and bend. Straighten and bend. The five exercises you are working on this video are your rocket ship, your soup pot, your spider crawl, the seesaw, and swinging out. So have fun with those five exercises. You will be an expert bow holder in no time. Have fun. If this video helps you out, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe for more updates and videos I post throughout the year. See you guys.